Hey, fishers. How about that rain? If that hadn't broken the drought in this area, I don't know what has. That was amazing. Bit of luck, we'll have a fair bit of rain in Lake Albert, or water in Lake Albert, should I say. It'll get rid of all that bacteria, top it up nicely, should fire up. But anyway, on to the report. We've had a fair bit of success, uh, or a lot of good reports coming from Dartmouth. Majority of the fish getting caught down there seem to be getting caught on bait at the moment. Mud eyes on the bottom or under bubble floats, little gudgeons, bubble floats all on the bottom. Uh, trolling uh, gudgeons behind Ford fenders and cowbells. Pretty darn good actually, pretty happy with it. The streams after all this rain, uh, I think they're going to be a bit uh, how you're going for the next couple of days anyway, at least for the next week I'd say. Um, they've got a lot of rain down there as well, so that's going to make them high and dirty. But great for the rest of the season. Cross our fingers, hope it stays that way. Hume Weir, starting to get some good numbers of redfin coming out, we're pretty happy with that. Got a few reports from a while, not too bad, wouldn't say it was going crazy or anything like that, but I'll tell you what is going crazy on Murrumbidgee River. Now, after all that rain, we could have an issue for a couple of days if the Tarkata Creek runs in flood and uh, we'll get a bit of dirty water come down, but it won't take long to clear up because they're letting plenty of water down out of blowing and that's good, clean, clear water. The fishing in the river has been nothing short of spectacular. Some big fish, plenty of fish, and the surface lure action's really fired up. This will probably help Old Man Creek a little bit too, so keep an eye on that one. It'll probably stay reasonably clean. Thunder Jerry Channel, same story. Um, get those surface lures out, get those hooks sharp, and start flicking lures around because it is going to be good, I can tell you now, especially with these funny weather patterns coming through at the moment. Blaring Dam, bit on the quieter side, bit disappointed at the moment, but look, next full moon coming up, it'll probably fire up. This is going to help it a little bit. They'll probably slow the flow down coming out of blowering, which in fact will probably stop it from dropping so much and it'll probably fire up again with a bit of luck. Barren Jug, still happy with Barren Jug. Plenty of yellows coming out of it. Reasonable amount of cod. Wangler, running hot. Really happy with Wangler Dam. Yellow belly, cod, doesn't really matter off the bank. Bait fishing, lure casting. Trolling doesn't seem to matter a great deal. By the way, trolling at Blaring seems to be pretty productive at the moment. Get some really good reports out of there on the troll. On the trout scene, up top, New South Wales, Snowy Mountains area, this rain's going to affect it a bit too, but it won't get as dirty as the Victorian streams, I don't think. Uh, keep our fingers crossed, the Arangabilly might get a bit high and dirty for a while, but it should be okay. Should get some really good results out of Tentangra if it comes up a bit more. You can be might fire up. It's been a bit quiet in the last week or so, but it could fire up. Ginderbine's not too bad. So it looks like we've got a fair bit of activity around us. This is Complete English Fishing Report this week. We'll catch you next week.